Caribbean volcanic threat seems 2020 be done with us yet. Greetings, Mr. Hunter here. Just letting you know about some developing news that I've seen come across my radar. It seems our neighbors in the Caribbean, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, their residents have been put on high alert due to increased seismic activity in the La Soufrière volcano area. Now, volcanic activity is no strange event to the Eastern Caribbean. But the increased seismic activity in the area has prompted authorities to take note. They think that it may be related to the La Soufrière volcano that is in St. Vincent. Now the Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalves said during a live address that residents should be on high alert and he clarifies that no evacuation order has been given. However, he urged every resident to be very careful due to the observable steam and heat that this area is given off. The recreational visits that usually go towards that volcanic site have been suspended due to the high amounts of heat and strong sulfur smell that is in that area that could potentially affect any individual that is in the area and mess up their respiratory system. The precautions are being taken in the event that the current activity that is being observed in the area develops into an explosive eruption. Professor Richard Robertson of the University of the West Indies Seismic Research Center stated that this is what is called an effusive eruption, effusive, E-F-F-U-S-I-V-E, an effusive eruption which is going on at the Sofrere which essentially means that magma is coming slowly out of the earth and it's bulging under this earth's surface and it's creating a dome. Now we already know that everything in geography is connected so it's no surprise that volcanic activity is connected to other volcanic activity in the area. Now for example in 1902 the La Soufrière volcano in St. Vincent erupted just hours before the devastating eruption of Mount Pelé, which is in Martinique. Now let's listen to what the Prime Minister had to say in a live address aired a couple hours ago. Um, and where the image was, was basically smacking in, in, in the crater uh, of the volcano. Um, so there was a possibility that, you know, given that we, are, we were having seismicity before, um, we have this hot spot, it wasn't clear what was happening, we were a bit, a bit con more concerned. Um, so we arranged with Nemo to go and have a, a look into the crater and I think we were about to do that when on, on Monday now, um, well the hotspots from the imagery that we have had since, the hotspots sort of continued. Um, so Nemo, um, the Supreme Monitoring Unit arranged to go up today because one of the things that we saw was it, it, been a, it could have been something else. It could have been the people getting hotter. It clearly it suggested that there was a, a heat source at the summit that was not letting up for the last couple of days. What happened today when they went up is that they verified that there was, there is an emission, uh, um, what we call diffusive uh, emission of magma, um, quietly uh, uh, extruding out of the volcano, sort of, if you if you um, think of, of, of um, where the volcano is, and, and just quickly, I'll, I'll, um, I'll share an image so that you could see what I'm talking about. Um, this is a, an image of the volcano. Um, hopefully, I, I hope that most of you have gone up there by now. If you, I, if you have been you really should walk up the volcano at least once. But anyhow, yeah, that's the dome. Um, and there's an area in the dome which has already been steaming since 79, where we call it fumaroles, where, where you have mainly um, water vapor, but mixed in with sulfur. That's why you, you smell a lot of sulfur. Sulfur and volcanic gas come out of it, and it has that white patch. Um, and then there's a lake on the right hand side. I just want to point out these two, the fumarole and the lake. Now, what the guys, when they went up today, discovered is that just north of where you have the fumarole activity, where you see my mouse is circling, just north of it, in, in just sort of 
in our city northwestern, sort of western, well, it's western, northwestern side of the of the of the volcano, just around that ridge there, where there was um, a pre-existing lake. I think the lake, a temporary lake, it 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 had gone for some time. It comes and goes all the time. There was an exclusion of a black mass of rock from that area, and from what we've seen of it, it's steaming, and that's where the steaming that people have been reported is coming from. From what we see in our conclusion, there is currently an what we call an effusive eruption ongoing at Soufre, where essentially magma is coming slowly out of the earth and building a dome. Essentially, the mass of rock that you have in that came up in 79, something else like that, what we now call in a satellite dome, is actually building and growing next to it. Um, so so that's, that's the current state of affairs. Um, we are currently working with, um, with NEMO, to augment the monitoring system, because at, at present, what would happen once you have an eruption on set? We will we want to have a team, we would want to have more instruments in so that we could give direct um, advice to NEMO as it goes along. So this, what's happening now is similar to what happened in, in 71, 72. But in 71, 72, we had a lake. Now we don't have a lake, but you have the same kind of mass growing on the side. Um, as it is now, the mass is confined in the crater because of the configuration of the crater. A lot of the, the, the hazard as it presently stands are in the crater itself and on the immediate rim of the crater. So the hazard will be from the rock itself that is simply coming out and the rock is going to be hot. So you don't want to be close to it when it's growing. This is going to be, it's basically if you think of it like a, 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 a big truck dumping us at a stone and it's just dumping the stone, but the stone is coming from below. The sun is coming from the row and the mass is growing. That's what is happening now. And as it comes out, it's bringing with it the gases that comes out. And the steam that you see in there is the gases that come out. A lot of it is, is sulfur rich. Most of it, when it mixes in the atmosphere, is not going to cause much harm. It's probably, if you're on the crater rim, it's going to be really difficult to breathe because some of the sulfur, some of the constituents of that gas um, is probably sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, which is, which is smelly, smells bad, but also mm -hmm. it dries out your... your, your your respiration makes it difficult mm -hmm. to get away. So you, you kind of get dried up when you smell it. So the point is that on the crater rim, not a good place to be. In the crater, not a good place to be. But as far as this mass stays in the crater, it's it's really a hunting threat currently to the to the to the flanks, people on the flanks of the volcano. Right. Um, yes, and just to reiterate um, Professor Robertson's request that we have no unofficial um, persons visiting the dome at this point in time to avoid any possible um, hazards from the emissions as well as a, a rapid change in activity at the crater. So, that no, so no one visits. We advise people not to visit the crater now, which is, which is one of the things I know everybody in St. Vincent want to do now. Don't do it, basically. It's a bad idea. <laughs> no. Prof, the what I think people would want to know, this effusive eruption, this oozing eruption, now, is that, you say that's like 1971, 72. Yes. How does this differ from 1979? Right, okay. There's two ways in which Sufra has traditionally, well, I should say, Sufra has been erupting the same kind of way for thousands of years um, studies we've done. It either erupts effusively, as it is doing now, where it is quietly emits magma, which is this, this rock, but it becomes rock as it comes out, it's molten. As it comes out, it dries out of the gas and it builds a mountain, like what you had there in some time. That's inside the of the crater way, itself. way, the dangerous way. Yeah, excuse me? That's inside of the crater itself. Right, yes. Okay. Um, the other way, and the more dangerous way in which it erupts, is when it erupts explosively. And this explosive eruption is one in which it basically, the material comes up very quickly. It has a lot of gas in it. And because of the gas and because of the speed at which it's, it's moving, it basically um, destroys everything in its path. It destroys the dome. It fragments. It produces a lot of ash. Interior is hot when it goes down the mountainside, it scars the mountainside, it's very dangerous. That's an explosive eruption. That's what happened in 79. In 79, you had an explosive eruption in 1970. Effusive eruption. Currently, in an effusive eruption, 
Now, the thing that we have to why you have to monitor it closely because while in 71, you had an effusive eruption, a long, quiet, and then you had an explosive eruption, it's possible for the two of them to happen much closer together. So that's one of the things that we have to look at. If it's going to move from effusive to explosive, which makes it a bit more dangerous. So students, it should be very interesting to watch the development in the next couple of days. Especially interesting to the third form students who will be doing volcanoes as the next topic after we finish earthquakes. So this should be something to whet your appetite. So that when we get into speaking about volcanoes, at least you would have known the two types of, well, you would have known two types of eruption, the effusive and the explosive types of eruptions so that we can actually discuss that freely. All right. So until uh, I am updated with any more information, this has been Mr. Henry on Addicted to Geography. Peace.